Hey guys, I just wanted to show you how to set up the new KLA speakers at Dos Lagos. So to start with, we have the same KW set we had before. And just like before, the power should be riding in the bag with the sub. And the new power cable, the new cables will be riding in the bag with one of the speakers. You have your power cable with the Nutricon locking connector, power con. You have your jumper signal cable that goes between the two speakers. Jumper power cable that goes between the two speakers. And then your signal from the ground up to the speaker. So what you start with is you have a crank stand now. So this just threads into the top of the KW. And if everything's tight, it should stop with the crank to the back. So from there, we grab one of your speakers. I recommend two people doing it, although you can see I can lift it fine. I recommend two people to lift it up if you can. Then there's keys in the feet. So once the sub is on or the speaker is on top, the feet will sit inside the other speaker so that everything should be aligned and it shouldn't fall apart. And then from there, what you do is there's an A button. So there's a button labeled A on both the speakers. On the bottom one, you push it. And when you do that, up on top, you'll see this is what happens. The latch comes up. And then after that, you pull down the B button till it locks into place. And you'll see up here, that pulls the latch down so it holds the speaker together. And then you just repeat that on the other side. Push the A button, pull the B, and now it's, the C button is locked into place waiting for the end of service. So that's the speakers locked together. Then with the connections, you just go in and out of your speakers, feeding it from the ground up like you normally would with the other speakers, just these ones go on top. The power, we have the power con, so these have color coded in and out. Feed the top and the bottom. And here's the power cable for the bottom one. Now all the top speakers are hooked up. For the top speaker, I set it to 0 dB last week, and then I went negative 3 or 4 on the bottom one since it's closer to the people in the front. Um, you might have to play with that. The array size, there's two boxes, so we just set that to 2, and that's pretty much it for this. The sub has the power cable in the box, so you just plug that in like you normally would in the power strip. And then we have the crank stand. So this we just have to pay attention to a few things. There's a friction knob right here that keeps the um, stand, gives a little more control to keep it from falling. Then there's a release button here. And these two are super important because this will keep it from coming down when you need it to. And this actually restricts movement of the speaker. So you won't be able to move it. So you have to push this button and then crank it. And I'm up to the top, so I just let it set back to where the pin goes back in. So now this is locked in place. I tighten the friction knob in the front to keep it in place, and that's basically it. There's one other feature your stand has, and it's a little um, tension piece that goes in the socket. What you do is if you go clockwise with this, it spreads out the pieces inside of the socket and keeps the speakers from turning. Um, so you would set this after you get the angle of which position your speaker is aiming at the audience how you want it to. So then after the service is over, you loosen this. So you should turn it all the way counterclockwise till it stops and even says close and open here. And then come down here, loosen your friction knob, back it up a little bit, hold your button in, and then while holding the button in, lower it down. You can even tighten the friction knob up a little bit just to reduce the speed. Just make sure to keep your hand on the crank so that it doesn't run away from you. So once this is all the way back down, I come to the speaker, and then we have a little slide. You push up on the slide. You might have to get a little bit of force, but once the B slides through, then you pull the C down. So if you look at the top speaker, if this one was set up the same as the one that I just did, I push up on the B, that lets the hook back, 
and then you pull C down and that pulls the hook in. So I'll repeat that on this side and I'll go push that. Like I said, it may take a little bit of force and then you pull down B or pull down C and that'll put, pull the hook in. So on the top, just showing the same thing. Make sure if your speakers are on and you need to adjust something, turn them away from the band so you don't get tons of feedback. And then we just disconnect it as usual. Put the cables all into the bag of one of the speakers. And since I loosened the clutch, and these are both loose, I should now be able to lower this into the bag. Right here, real quick, you can see the spreaders that go into the socket. When you tighten those, they come up to hold the speaker in place. And then everything else is pretty much the same. Just unthread the stand and put it back in the bag that it's living in at the time. And that's it. I hope that helps. See you guys later.